The Northwest Territories hosted an international conference on diamonds last week, and it sparked a renewed discussion on the future of diamonds in the territory. The CBC's Nadir Hashmi has more. Will interest in the territory's diamonds be reignited soon? That's what the NWT and Nunavut Chamber of Mines is hoping for. When you look at the age of Canada's uh, diamond production and compare it to other established diamond producers, we are still in our infancy. The diamond industry has only been active in Canada since the 1990s. If you look at places like Africa, you look at South America, it has been around for well over a hundred years. So there are still discoveries to be made. Costello says there's been more recent growth in the exploration of critical minerals. But it still has a long way from the level of investment that diamond mines had. According to a diamond analyst, such events do help start a conversation within the industry. But it all comes down to economics. You know, going forward, there is, you know, always, uh, you know, that chance that if we see uh, diamond prices rise high enough, you will see uh, new mines, uh, you know, come into production. Um, but I, but I would note with diamonds, it's a particularly long uh, lead time to put a new mine into production. Costello reiterated what mining advocates have been saying for years that companies are looking for certainty. And that and the lack of a north of 60 mineral exploration tax credit have contributed significantly to the low levels of exploration overall for the last 15 years or so. Costello says mining companies still conduct explorations within and adjacent to their mines. Nadir Hashmi, CBC News, Yellowknife.